Welcome back, guys, to Blood and Gold Caribbean. My name is Edogs82. So, I know it has been quite some time since we played Blood and Gold. So, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I really do not know what happened in the last episode. It has been that long. All I can remember is that I'm at war with Spain and with the Brotherhood of the Coast, aka the Pirates. My kingdom is the Thug Life Kingdom, obviously, and we're currently the smallest kingdom in the world, but that's okay. So, I believe we were attacking the city of Margarita, I can't be entirely sure, but yeah, the dogs has taken a little bit of a hit. The crew that I currently possess is a little wounded. Pretty much entirely cavalry based. I'm level 17, and I look like a Spanish soldier myself, which is kind of funny. Ironic, really. So I must have been... Captured? Yeah, I believe so, and I've got nearly $50,000, but, yeah, we got this stupid dude, Spanish guy after me. That would have been mine if the French hadn't snuck it from us, made me do all the damn hard work. Ooh, hello, patrol. I don't want to play with you because you're too weak. But you, convoy, maybe. That's a lot of soldiers in that place. Okay, so some of us have leveled up. Let's make you a Dragoon, a Lancer, Lancer. You can be Dragoons. Yeah, I also remember we're at war with um, the Dutch as well. The thing is, you can be a cuirassier, the Dutch don't really hold any land that is, like, amazing to have. They don't have anything that makes them economically very powerful, so it's almost not worth attacking them. Because they have these provinces down here, and then everything up here as well. But none of it has any... Holy crap, that's a huge prisoner population. None of it has any... Um, what is it? Any economy. They don't have any plantations, any mines, nothing. It's all just settlement taxes that they're basically banking everything on. Same with the pirates. They literally have nothing that makes them powerhouse guys because they don't have any property that makes them super awesome. Whereas Spain, England, and France do. Providence. 184 men. Potential, I could take that, but I don't want to push it. Port Royal would be a good place for me to take because there's a constant supply of um, English in the area, and I'm kind of on good terms with the English, We're kind of buddies. Uh, I don't want to become a meal ticket for him either. And we'd be able to go and trade between Montego Bay all the time, which is good. Uh, thank you, sir. We now have food in our cargo hold, as much as we can carry, so my men will never go starving. Excellent. 
Oh, that guy could cause me some problems. Stay away. Please go away. Okay, I'm gonna have to run into yeah this way. Let the English duke it out with uh, the Spanish. That would be ideal for me at this point. Dragoon. Let's make you some lances. A lancer, lancer, cuirassier, more cuirassiers, and I believe that's everything. Okay, let's check. Port Royal has 231 men garrisoning it. I don't think I have the manpower to take Port Royal. I need more men. I just don't have enough. Santiago would be a promising target as well. But yet again, I don't exactly have the manpower. There is a lot of pirates in this area, just waiting to get a piece of me. Ooh, they've got a lot of men garrisoned here. Who was fighting in my lands? The Spanish and the French. Interesting. So, I'm going to put some food into my supply train. As much as I can carry, basically. Is there anything I can sell or buy around here? Two-handed sword would be interesting to use. Yeah, why not? Time to splurge a little. Get rid of these bent bullets, just regular bullets. That's looking alright. Let's go into the armor workshop. Doesn't exactly match. I don't care. <laughs> I'm looking for not so much style, but powerful things. Are those the best gloves they have in the whole shop? Appears to be hard and soft gloves. And now mine. Okay, that was quite a bit of money. It's a bit of an oxymoron. Hard and softened gloves. What's on the board? Okay, not a lot. Meet the garrison. Indeed, these are all of my men. Mm. 
not bad. They've been defending this place valiantly. Not that they've needed to very much, I don't imagine. I can imagine. Considering how elite they are and how weak the forces in the area are. Wow. <laughs> I look ridiculous. Pardon me. But, um, yeah, we're going to go ashore. And we're going to help out Francois against Diego. That's the way. Let's have everybody charge and start the battle. Nice. Big sword. That should be very difficult to bring down now. We've got all our men mixed together as best we can, and majority of my men are all cavalry. It's interesting that I can command his men, which is really funny. Got this sweet flintlock pistol as well as my massive two-handed sword. Surprisingly, our forces haven't clashed yet. I believe that is Francois up there in that fancy clothing. Okay, and that's the first clash of men. Good. We got our secretary up here with us. Oh, and there's a lot of Spanish. Careful now. Don't get too ahead of yourself, E Dogs. Do outnumber them, but you got to be careful. I believe this guy's a cuirassier. Ooh, he took a huge hit. Hey, well done, Colonial Lancer. You finished him off. So right now, I don't believe any horsemen can really bring me down. Not easily, anyways. He doesn't even know I'm coming. Excellent. Yeah, that's, that's Francois right there, doing his part. Ooh, we're surrounded, Francois. Let's fight back to back. Well, you know, you can just cut down every Spanish man you see, leave none for me. <laughs> that little dagger is not going to kill me. Sorry, friend. Ooh, somebody snuck up on me and got a pretty decent hit. Killing Spanish by the dozen down here. Oh, you're back, Francois. Yeah, you deal with that rotel arrow. And that guy, just every Spanish guy, you got this, man. There's only five of them left. Oh, 
let's get this guy. He looks like a Hakabusi air. Yep, he's down already. And he's done. That was a good shot from the Colonial Lancer. And there appears to be one guy way down here fighting still. He's on horseback. No wonder he survived this long. Still, he's vastly outnumbered. Things look pretty grim for him. You're in trouble, mate. Yep, you're done. The French pikemen took you out. Good job, boys. We've won. Oh, my sutler and my treasurer were knocked out. So we lost six allied men. Well, of our men, and our allies also lost six. So that was 12 men that died in total. Nice. France likes this to be better. Francois likes this as well. Thanks for your help, stranger. We haven't met properly yet, have we? What is your name? My name is Edox. Oh, my arm's gold. Well met, Edox. I am Francois de Riverol. Thanks for your help. And I hope we'll meet again. No problem, buddy. One of the enemies surrenders to you while your hold and your prisoner management skill allows you to keep up to 10 captives with you. Awesome. I'll take that hat. And now I will go to Arcadia Farm and sell that prisoner I just acquired for 800 gold. 800 piastres is nice. Looks like my farm is very productive. I've got many slaves on it and many guards working very hard to keep the slaves in line. Good job, Mr. Administrator. You've done a good thing here. There we go. Later, dude. Put him to work straight away. Let's go down to Key West. Sell that hat. Oh, 65 piastres. That's actually decent. <laughs> My friend Cat Tori Key. <laughs> Let's go into the garrison and see what we can purchase. I want a few veteran dragoons to. Yeah, to balance out my ranks. Now I'm going to get a veteran cuirassier or two. <laughs> nice. And now we're going to go ashore again. And the supply train is solid. Did anybody level up in that last fight? Yes, we did. English Lancer. Colonial Dragoons. More Cuirassiers. I love my Cuirassiers. Excellent, excellent. Ooh, we got a Brotherhood of the Coast guy running for his life. San Manteo Farm would be nice to add to my people's uh, to my people's holdings. 194. How many does Pensacola have? Ooh, we got more food. How many? 167. And that was like more 194 ish. So I could take control of all Spanish lands here in this little uh, area, more or less. Hmm. I could rescue Philippe de Ponce of the French and 
many warriors to fight for me as well. Let's check my companions out first. Okay, you haven't leveled up, Mr. Treasurer. You're wounded. Ah, here we go. The Drill Master, who is fantastic. Let's see, what are you proficient in? Just killing people, okay. <laughs> Secretary, not leveled up. How about my Sutler? Not quite either. Okay, what about me? Nope, we're getting closer, but haven't quite made it. Okay, so let's quickly save up. Don't want to lose any progress. And we are going to attack the colony of Pensacola and take it back. Well, just take it. We're going to assault with ladders. It's going to take eight hours to construct, but that's well worth the wait. And in the time being, I can have some of my men get healed. Okay, everybody, follow me. I don't want you all getting slaughtered by cannon fire. So I'm going to run along the coastline. I'm at full health. It appears all of my men came with me. They healed up as well. Hopefully my various different companions healed up more so than the other than the more so than not. <laughs> Ooh guys, what are you doing running out there like that? Crazies. And we're gonna charge up and attack. Okay, men, you guys ready? To take care of this guy. And infantry, charge! Musketeers, charge! Everybody forward. <laughs> Climb the ladder. Don't kick the ladder. Okay, time to deal with these guys. Oh, that hurt. There we go. It's going to get quite choppy up here, I think. If I can just take out as many pikemen as possible, we might stand a chance. I just need room to swing my sword. Stop stabbing me! I've got five zillion pikemen after me, this is annoying. There we go, that's better. <coughs> okay, the number deficit is not so good.
Okay, okay, I'm starting to make a difference. Just not enough. <laughs> Some of our men are chasing them. You're not getting away, Mr. Pikeman. There we go. Forward, men, cut them down. We will take this city. It is ours. What are you doing running this way for? Idiots. Ooh. Okay. So we're starting to outnumber them. We're going to win. Good, good, good. Uh oh, roll the lever. Take him out, boys. I got him. He's not quite dead, but he's very wounded. And now he's dead. Good job. And they're still firing cannons. <laughs> One guy left. And he's done. We win! Yeah! Good job, man. Good victory. Okay, 68 of our men fell in battle, but all the Spanish are dead. I owe you for releasing me, my friend. Yes, you do. Nice. Yes. You are free to go wherever you want, sir. Thank you, good sir. I never forget someone who's done me a good turn. You rescued 291 prisoners from the life of slavery. Yes! <laughs> the Guild Master. My lord, we surrender. Please order your troops to stop their rampage on behalf of the citizens of Pensacola. I offer you the tribute of 10,000... 10, oh, 1 million 2,000 piastres if you leave us in peace. Hmm. Hmm. I will govern Pensacola myself. Awesome. Nice, we picked up a whole bunch of really good troops, all French and everything as well, which is great. Oh, Royal Musketeer, that's awesome, he's great. Ooh, Dutch Rita, these guys are powerful. Let's make you Lancers. Lances for us. Let's go Dragoons. Cuirassier, because I like them. 
heavily armoured, good. More lances of the English variety. Cuirassiers. Let's go with uh, Dutch group Dragoons. Hmm. Dutch veteran Dragoons. English Cuirassier will now turn into an English Ironside, which are amazing. And we are just doing fine. We're perfectly good now. Somehow we picked up some corned beef. <laughs> Did I capture any slaves, any prisoners? No. Okay, well, let's jump into Pensacola. And I'm going to sell... Nope, not going to sell anything here because I don't have anything. However, I am going to garrison the fort. You're going to stay with me, so you, you, basically any cavalry, any infantry forces, however, are going to be my garrison forces. <laughs> Lots of them are tribals, which is funny. And f loads of really great French troops. And I think that's all of the infantry forces that I have. Okay. What's on this board? Spanish Marines, Spanish Colonial Hacabousiers, or Spanish Militia Musketeers. I don't want any of them. I'm going to check out who's in the tavern. Honestly, not a lot. We got the master weaponsmith. What has he got in here? Ooh, mace pistol, nice. An axe pistol, very nice. Genie's carbine, also very nice. But I don't exactly have the money to use those things. Hmm. So. Can I get any men out of the garrison? Can I produce men? Yes, I can already. Excellent. Okay. Veteran cuirassiers are incredible soldiers. Veteran dragoons, veteran lancers. I'm going to get some more veteran cuirassiers because I only have 10. Well, one in my party at the moment. I'm going to buy 10 of them. That cost me $8,000. Jeez. I'm going to buy some veteran dragoons, maybe. Yes, veteran dragoons. That's all the dragoons they have. So I guess I'm going to go Veteran Lancers for the rest of it. And I can't buy anything else. I only have 105 men out of my 124 left over. So let's go ashore real quick. And let's take out these native hunters who disappeared, okay? Let's go to the mission. Ah, Bartholomew Roberts. How very kind of you to immediately attack the Spanish town that I just took over. <laughs> so very kind of him. I've never attacked a mission before. I wonder what happens when you do. Okay, 
Travis. I need some healing, please. Well, we could heal your wounds and treat your men as well. With the Lord's help, I might be able to do something if you suffer from any crippling afflictions too. Ooh. Then take a look at me and my company, please. Very well, treating the wounded will cost you 580 piastres. Deal. Apparently, <laughs> not having enough money is okay. Well then, I have a garrison of 50 men here. How many do I have in Key West? I um, can't really see at the moment. But I got the Horn Hill Plantation as well. Oh, he doesn't have enough men. Not those men, anyways. Those men are rubbish. <laughs> You can try, sir, but you will not succeed. Native hunters, come here. I'm going to charge those native troops. Every single one of them shall die. Go, my pretty horsemen. <laughs> Just roll over them like they're not even there. There are so many of you. I'm not even going to get a piece of this battle. So I'm just going to run. <laughs> run along with my few captains. <laughs> Yep, my troops are already like slamming into them and just destroying them. <laughs> wow, look at that wall of blue text. And there is basically nothing left. Those tribals are all dead. <laughs> it, that's game, it's done. Having just a massive cavalry army against tribals is like super easy to slaughter them. Thank you for the loot. I'm now going to continue moving and go to Fort St. Louis. I'm not really going to worry about Pensacola so much. War party, huh? Let's take him out. Charge the enemy. And just everybody charge. I may be a small nation, but I'm definitely growing in size, and I'm getting a lot more powerful with every town that I take. Honestly, they just, the rest of the world is losing their grip on the Caribbean, one town at a time. And they're already butchering them. <laughs> I love my cavalry. This is just too amazing. This is like before. It's over already. <laughs> Too easy. <clears throat> okay, we got a prisoner then. That'll come in handy. That's an extra 800 gold. Looks like the Spanish are running for their lives. And they've encountered a French convoy. Unfortunately... At this present moment, I cannot help the French because I'm not currently with my ship, the dogs. Let's get rid of them. 
large bag of bullets. Okay, we lost 150 piastres from that transaction, but that's okay. Let's check out the tavern. We have a slave trader. What will you give me? Why, hello, your highness. I'm sure this encounter will be beneficial for us both. What are you talking about? You have the bearing of an adventurer. And here in the New World, adventures tend to involve fighting. A lot of it, really. Then when the smoke clears, sometimes there are a few poor sods who weren't men enough to go down in a blaze of glory. As a good Christian, I'm uh, I am sure you are, you would probably have mercy on these unfortunates. Offer them food and shelter, escort them to the coast, and then I'll be here to provide them with wonderful new employment opportunities. <laughs> opportunities. See, many plantations are woefully understaffed. So you buy a captives as slaves then, how much do you pay? Good money. How about 300 piastres per head? Sure you might earn more by taking them to the customer directly, but that's a, that's a long trip. The captives are notoriously hard to keep in check when they aren't locked up in a ship's hold. I'll keep that in mind. So, uh, I guess what he's telling me is that guys that you capture in battle can, in fact, actually run away from you if you're not transporting them by ship. So you have an excess, so you have excess master feed no longer. Okay. Not at this time, farewell. I'm going to take him to the plantation myself because I can actually get. 500 extra gold more than what he can actually give me. Ooh. Sure, I'll take these missions. So I'm going to go to the Augusta Plantation, enter the facility. And give the French a new slave. Wow, this place looks like no plantation I've ever seen before. It's a cotton one. Huh. Usually it's all just wheat and corn and stuff like that, but this is a di bit different. Interesting. And they don't seem to have very many slaves working this place, so they obviously need more. Well, good thing I have one to give to them. Mr. Administrator. Here you go. Fair exchange. 800 piastres for one guy. <laughs> well, since I'm down this way, I'm going to check out the colony of uh, Tampico and see how strong they are. You receive a peace offer. The Kingdom of Spain desires to end the war against you. What is your answer? No. They are strong enough to hold me back. Well then. Okay, um, we've encountered Francisco Zelda's party by accident. <laughs> You know the drill, everybody. Charge! Run them down. That's incredible. Just a huge wave of cavalry just sweeping across the fields. Just plow over the enemy troops. It's like... <laughs> it's like a modern-day Rohirrim, basically. Oh, we actually lost someone. Interesting. Haven't lost a few men in a, uh, in a few fights recently in a while, actually. This is pretty recent. Oh, that guy got past me. Interesting. We're still tearing through them like they're nothing, but... They're not entirely just rolling over and dying like the natives were. Yeah. 
Excellent. They're all dead. So we lost two men. We lost a Dutch colonial dragoon and a veteran cuirassier. Hmm. Desperados. I'm going to level up the men that I can. French elite cuirassier. Excellent. These guys are tough. Dutch Colonial Lancer will now become a Dutch Lancer. English Colonial Lancer will become an English Dragoon. French Cuirassier will become another French Elite Lancer. I mean Cuirassier. We'll get a dr Dutch Dragoon. Dutch Pistolier. And that's everybody that we can level up at the moment. I lost quite a bit of money just then. Tempting to raid San Carlos Plantation. Tempting. Very tempting. But I can only take what I have on in there with the supplies that I have. So, what skill actually helps me with that? Is it looting? No. How about inventory management? Yes, it does. So that is a skill I need to work on if I wish to raid. Okay, so we won't raid, but we're going to head back to our own lands. Get away from Fort St. Louis. Golly. Still under siege, huh? Not a very strong party. They couldn't take this place even if they tried. But just to be a bit more of a deterrent, I'm going to come in here and add some extra troops. Just because I can. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I'm going to add some Spanish troops, some cheap ones, to the Harrison, but extra guns are extra guns. And extra guns can turn a fight around. So, let's go ashore and leave. We left a garrison of 67 men, and they have only 65 in total. So I'm going to go over to St. Augustine and attempt to take them out. Because I want to rule this peninsula. I can have 125 men. I'm going to go down to Key West, pick up some extras that are lying around. And head back to take out St. Augustine and capture the entire peninsula. Oh, fancy lady. How you do? Enter the fort, manage the garrison. <laughs> I 
I need quite a few more men. I don't have any cavalry here. But I do have plenty of Spanish troops. I'm going to bring Spanish troops with me, just basically so they can die. <laughs> and that's going to round out my roster. It appears with every battle I get into as well, I become stronger. So back to San Augustine, really put the screws to the Spanish. Who is wounded? A veteran dragoon. Mm, not exactly happy about that. Oh well, let's continue. Who is in here? A lot of prisoners and a decent amount of troops. That could give me problems. We are outnumbered, but I believe in us. Construct the letters. Lead my soldiers. Quickly, everybody, follow me. We need to not lose flipping everyone in cannon fire. Damn, we didn't get that one guy, the dragoon, fixed up just yet. Come on guys, down this way, as many of you as you can. I need you guys not to get blasted by cannonballs before we reach the walls. Because you will die in mass amounts, it's not good. Good, good, good. We got the whole party with us down here now. No cannon fire to shoot us. Ha ha! Strategy. Okay, everybody charge. Time to go. Time to clear the way for my men. Damn, veteran Lance has already bitten it. Oh, that could have been me. Down goes the veteran cuirassier. Time to clear the way. Cut down as many Spanish men as I can. Because everyone I kill is one less my men have to kill. Kind of choppy up here. Okay. 
excellent. We've made a huge, big gain onto the wall. You shall not deny my men entry to this castle. It's just too many. It's too laggy in this area. I gotta go somewhere else. Didn't take any damage. Good. I'll take on all these guys at the other side. Is there anyone back here, I wonder? Okay, we're starting to close the gap in the number deficit. We're going to win this. Hey, don't you run from me. Well, I guess that gun is incredibly powerful. But it'll have to do... Taking out guys left and right. Yep, we're starting to outnumber them. We're going to win this for sure. We got this. Another victory for the Thug Life Kingdom. The Spanish lose yet another territory. Although we be outnumbered, we can still win. Kill my men, I kill you. Oh, good shooting. I'll take care of this marksman back here. And there is the last man. We win! We have 22 of our men still standing. Good job, man. Okay, we lost 72 of our men. Indeed, it was a terrible battle. But we won. We rescued many men. Good. Guildmaster, my lord, we surrender. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You want to give us a crap ton of money? Well, I'm going to govern you. Thank you. Oh, my patrol was in trouble. Well then. Time to help them. to get Spearman, Axeman, Spanish Rodoleros, French Elite Cuirassiers, we're going to get another Dutch Cuirassier, Dutch Pistoliers, Dutch Veteran Cuirassiers, English iron side. Yeah. And we're good. We haven't leveled up, unfortunately. Let's go help the patrol before it gets taken out by these native guys. Charge! Alright, everybody. You know the drill. Go, go, go! And now we have many tribal men fighting for us too, which is great. <laughs> it appears that a lot of my cavalry actually fell in that battle, the Battle of San Augustine. Oh well. I will get more. As long as I have money, I can always hire 
buy whatever, get more men to fight for me. Nice. Ooh, merchant guards get doing pretty good too. And the battle rages onward. All these tribal men are going to be fighting their own brothers in a minute. If they get a chance before the cavalry cut them all down. <laughs> Hey, come here. Nice. Good work. <laughs> Next time you'll wear armor. Then you won't get blasted by a handgun so easily. And we didn't lose anybody. Nice, not bad. Thank you for your help, sir. You saved our lives out there. Yes, I did. Two of the enemies surrendered to me. Excellent. Run along now. <laughs> San Mateo Farm shall now have a few extra slaves to make me more money. They will initially make me 800 piastres each, and then they will continue to make me more money by harvesting my wheat crop. You should have never attacked my patrols. Administrator, <laughs> I kick you. Sold. Later, dude. Okay, let's head over to St. Augustine, which has no garrison at the moment. Ha! Yes, you're not going to take it, sir. This is my place. And now let's sell the goods that we've acquired. And now I'm going to put in all those guys who aren't cavalry into this fortress. Right after I level them all up. Okay. Transfer over Spanish Order Leros, Jaguar Spears, Tribal Champions, <coughs> Tribal Axemen, Tribal Spearmen, Tribal Bows, Skirmishers, Youths, Spanish Marines, Colonial Guard. And that is just about everything that was a foot soldier. Not bad. What can I get? Hmm, colonists. Spanish colonists. I'll buy them. And put them all in the garrison. <laughs> I know they're weak, but numbers can count for a lot. Yeah, run away. Run away, you punk. Let's go ashore. Oh, we got Corsairs. Ooh, 
Lovely, now we hold the peninsula. Excellent. Alright guys, I'm going to call this the episode for today. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Next time when we come back, we're going to continue pushing into enemy land and see if we can take them all out. But, my name is edogs82, and I'm signing out. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Laters. Yeah.